Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Can you still find prepping supplies at the Dollar Tree? We all know that inflation is on the rise. The cost is going up. There's shrinkflation where packages are becoming smaller. How can the Dollar Tree continue to offer products for only one dollar? It is still possible to find prepping supplies at Dollar Tree, but you have to look around. I read somewhere that Dollar Tree is going to be changing the store because it is becoming impossible to find things for one dollar. They're becoming basically a candy counter in a card store. And I read that they're going to be changing their name. I don't remember what they're changing it to, but then everything will be up to five dollars, five dollars and less. It only makes sense that they can't continue to offer things for only one dollar. It's just the state of the economy and resources are just becoming less available and prices are going up. It's just a reality. So if they're going to continue to have good things that we can use for prepping items, we just are going to have to buckle under, keep searching for good things that we want at an affordable price. So what are my top things at the Dollar Tree that I bought for my prepping supplies? The first one is the Fancy Heat. They're little cans that are alcohol stoves. You, They have a wick inside. You light the wick and it burns the fuel in the can, which is like an alcohol stove, and then you can use it to heat up food. It's similar to Sterno, but it's only one dollar, and these things can burn around two hours. Fancy Heat is a great way to heat up some food in an emergency, say you've lost your power and you can't turn on your stove. You can get out your Fancy Heat and heat up something for a meal. You're going to need a way to light your Fancy Heat, Look for the utility lighters. These are great. They work for a long time and I'm very pleased with them. Next, look for safety matches. They're strike on the box matches. They used to come 300 in a box, but if you look, now there's only 250. That's what we call shrinkflation. It looks like the same, but it isn't. Things just cost more and so that's part of the reality of paying attention when you're shopping, reading labels so you know what you're getting. Looking for inexpensive, long-lasting lights? Check out the tall pillar candles. They come already in a container. Look when you get them that there's the metal ring at the bottom that the wick goes all the way down and the wick comes all the way up. And the great way to light these is with that long-reach utility lighter. These can burn for about 80 hours. I've used these many times. I've never had a problem with these cracking. Somebody left a comment that that's something you need to be careful of and so I'm going to put that out there. I've not had a problem with that and so uh, you might want to be careful, look it over, make sure nothing looks weak or cracked on the glass. One thing that I like to do is place these into a mug, then you can move them around, you have a handle for them. It's an easy way to transport your candle if you need to move to another room. Never leave a candle burning and you leave the room. My favorite item for cooking from the Dollar Tree is the foil wrappers. These are fantastic. The Reynolds foil wrappers are super high quality and it's harder and harder to find these. They've been uh, putting in some generic one in the store and the quality of the foil is just not the same. If you can find the Reynolds foil wrappers, stock up on these. You can use these to make foil packets. You can put food in the oven that way. You can put it into a campfire. Spread a sheet of foil over a pan and then when you're done cooking you can just pick it up, dispose of it, there's no cleanup, which might be extra handy in times of no water. We all need some cordage with our emergency gear and they had several different kinds at the Dollar Tree. Some of them don't look very good and some of them look better than others. And the two that I bought the last time I was there that I've actually been using are the white one. It's very plasticky and I hooked a leash on it so I could tie out my dog when I didn't have a yard to keep him in when I was traveling and this held up really well. I did use the lighter to melt the little end of the rope because it sort of comes apart. So this isn't my favorite rope from the Dollar Tree. So the one that I like better than this is the one that comes all coiled up. And this is awesome because uh, you didn't even have to melt the ends, it already came in one piece. It's softer rope and then it comes with this cool handle that's very sturdy and you can let out as much as you want, then you can wrap it back around and it has these little teeth 
that'll hold it in place. And I was able to tie this on to Teddy's leash and then I could let out as much as I wanted and then I could fasten this, tie it around a post or something and then hook it so that it wouldn't unravel more and it was easy to carry with me to put it away. It stayed nice and sturdy and so this is my new favorite cordage from the Dollar Tree. Sometimes you can find things like flashlights or even battery operated lanterns or little lights at the Dollar Tree but I didn't see any this time. I bought some before that I liked a lot so I'm always on the lookout for new ones. Finding batteries at the Dollar Tree has been very problematic. I saw like a two pack for a dollar of batteries I never heard of and so I wasn't willing to take a chance on that. Then you may as well pay more and get a regular uh, high quality battery. But I did find then these in an eight pack. I never heard of the E-Circuit super heavy duty batteries before but I decided for only one dollar I would go ahead and try an eight pack because you just can use so many batteries and so many things and usually these are going to last long enough and you're going to get your money's worth because the price of each battery is so inexpensive. Look through the first aid supplies at Dollar Tree. There's all kinds of over-the-counter medicines, band-aids, bandages, hot packs, cold packs, all kinds of things that you can find to beef up your first aid kit look through the cans of food. There's lots of open and eat food choices. Some of them of course are going to be tastier than others but there's a nice variety. I did notice that the selection of meat was very low and the selections they had weren't something that I wanted to stock up on anymore but if you can find something that you like get a few extra cans. If you can find soup or a can of beans, a can of chili, something like that be on the lookout because you can still find some of those items. They did still have some dried rice and beans. You can pick up a bag for only a dollar. You get some different varieties of beans, two pounds of rice, and so that's always a good way, a bag at a time, a dollar at a time, to add to your prepper pantry with a canned food item or to your long-term food storage with the dried beans and rice. They did also have brown rice and white rice, but pay attention to brown rice does not last nearly as long in food storage because it has oil in it. So if you get brown rice, make sure that you rotate it in two to three years, whereas the white rice can last for 30 years or even longer. When you're in the Dollar Tree, grab some water. You can buy a gallon of water. Those are very sturdy containers. Set them aside. You can even grab a multi-pack and then you have grab and go water. Maybe you want to keep it in your car, especially if summer's coming or you'll be traveling. Then you have some water bottles that you can hand out to members of your family. But if you're going to just stock it away in case you need water for the long term, grab the gallons. It's an easy way to have water, one gallon per person per day, minimum for your drinking needs in an emergency situation. Another great thing to find from the Dollar Tree, but it seems to be more seasonal, is something like hand warmers because even if it's summertime, when the sun goes down, if you're in the mountains or out in the desert, it can get very cold and it can help keep you warm if the temperature drops unexpectedly. There are lots of items that you can find at the Dollar Tree if you have children. Make sure that you have the supplies you might need for them. If you have pets, make sure you have the supplies for your pets. Then go up and down the aisles, look things over. Do you need extra socks? Do you need a poncho? Do you need something to make a shelter? There are all kinds of items you can still find at the Dollar Tree. I like to go up and down the aisles and look for things and figure out, do I need that? Is that something I don't have? You may be pleasantly surprised to find something that's just what you need for your emergency prepping gear stockpile. Let me know what are your favorite items to shop for at the Dollar Tree. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might enjoy it. And please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.